Hey everybody, welcome back for hour two of Madness of the Land. Alright, so, you knock on the door. No response. <clears throat> Nothing right away. Hello? Hello? And I knock again. This is Barry and Zachariah of the House Anders. I don't think <laughs> they they care. <laughs> It's it's impolite not to. <laughs> There's no response. It just seems quiet. Okay, I'm gonna walk over and. Is there locks on the door? No. I'm gonna just see if the knob turns. Uh, it's just let me let handle. me do it. I'm I'm gonna stop. Let me do it. Chance, back up. Okay. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll open the door <clears throat> if I can. It doesn't seem to budge. I will try harder. <laughs> okay. It just does not seem to budge. Give me a strength check, actually. I have a feeling this is just like... Uh, Magically like sealed? No, it's just polite of him to be like, give me a strength check. It's all, it, like, it, it doesn't matter. It's not going to matter. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. Uh-huh. My hands are still slippery, and like, I just slip off, and I almost fall. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to walk good. over and try. Okay. I just want to see if I roll better, basically. <laughs> you Slightly. Put your, you put your back into it, and both of them are like, hmm. Is there any writing on the door at all? Um, give me perception. All right. If it says, like, pull or push and not pull. <laughs> Speak friend and... <laughs> okay, oh, I'm going to God. check around the door, see if there's any mechanisms, mm -hmm. any triggers. It's a door, guys. It's a door. We're going to lose It is a door, door that we can't open. <laughs> Oh. I beat you. Oh, God, I you beat, beat you to it. it. It's a new sock. Uh, yeah. Chance takes a look around. It looks pretty door to you. You're not even quite... You can't even, like, when you're, like, looking at it. it there doesn't seem to be very, like... Not enough that you can, like, see through the cracks of it anyway to, like, see... Like, is it barred or something? You're not sure. Does it look like a real door? Like... Yes. It feels like wood when you touch it. It seems like wood. Uh, you can tell, like, the iron around it is cold. Like, if you touch the stone next to it, it feels definitely different. Can I try an arcana check? Do I, like, to see if maybe it's magically sealed? Sure. Well, Not that I would... that, I'm gonna rage. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, you're it's raging. It's a wood door. I could set it on fire. I'm, it's also I'm metal. I'm raging. I put my hand on the ground. I ask for the earth for some guidance, <laughs> some help. And I walk over and I grab the damn doorknob and uh, uh, the, the and pull it off. I am trying <laughs> to pull. I try to pull my hardest. I would laugh if you just pulled the doorknobs off. Yeah, yeah it would be funny. Uh, so I get strength checks on advantage now if you're allowed you to redo the check. Go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> Double yeah. <laughs> you oh, like wow. on it, and it does not seem to open, even with the strength of Mother Earth. So I'm just like I'm sitting there. I, this is the most rage rageness <laughs> you've seen, Zach. He's like, just like, trying to pull. He he actually like I, I'll, I'll be honest. He probably has one foot on the other door that he's pulling, mm -hmm. um, trying to pull <laughs> at the same time. So, but he's not thinking straight. <laughs> Right now, so wow. Can, Can I try, I try some... setting it on fire now? Yes, yes, just do it. <laughs> and I'll, I'll step away. You're mm -hmm. all pissed off. Yeah. I'm stepping away. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, I cast fireball at it. I guess. Okay. Fireball. Like you're going straight for the big one. Oh, I'm going for the big guns. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's an explosion of fire. Uh, the door seems singed, but it is not destroyed and does not burst into flames. Well, that 
Okay, this is not a normal door. This is not a normal door. I'm going to try saying. something. Also, I will tell you, Signy knows fireball does not light things on fire, though. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to throw fire at it. Yeah. I'm going to say everyone back up a little more. I mean, okay. we have to be like 30 feet away. She just threw no. fireball. Oh, so. yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess that's far enough away then. Yeah. I'm going to pull out my crossbow. Uh-huh. And I'm going to use Bursting Arrow. Okay. I'm just going to say, Fireball it's does force emit damage. things that are flammable. It says it specifically in the description. Uh, it, I thought it said it didn't light things on the fire. No, it ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Yeah, it does say that. No, oh, they changed it. For fifth edition. I, I forgot that one. To check it. I probably read that before for Fireball. Yeah, it doesn't light on fire. Rude. I mean, it still has to be flammable. So, if yes. it's... <laughs> so I guess I will try my not one like bursting arrow. Uh, We're just defeated by this door. You're just gonna shoot a crossbow at it as he's shooting it, and it goes. You know, <laughs> okay, so, I apologize. There's the know. normal damage, and I gotta roll two d six for the force. <laughs> We're just wasting all our resources on this door. <laughs> hey, it's the first time I've actually got to use this. Whoa. All right. Um, I, mean, I mean, you we're at... <laughs> you do some damage to the door. I mean, the door still looks okay. It's taken like 30-something points of damage. Yeah. The door, the door does look like it's damaged. It looks like you've made progress on destroying the door. <laughs> The door seems, uh, I will tell you now, between Signy and you, Chance, you can kind of already tell that your attacks, this door seems a, is a lot tougher than it seems. Well, you do seem I like mean, you, like you, oh. even your bursting arrow does seem like it has done some damage to it, but it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely not as much as you would like. Question, did you ever figure out what that cloak was? No. It won't help you in this situation, well, though. I just wanted to make sure. Yes. Duis X cloak will not save you. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never, you also, always check the resources you have. That's true. That's true. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to try something else. Okay. I have a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> and I got some tinder twigs <laughs> and I've been collecting wood alright I'm starting to fire at the door <laughs> okay alright I mean uh, I'll grab grass I'll just go out <laughs> okay. that's probably still wet that wouldn't help there's probably you could probably find some dry grass like under some okay. of the things here and there uh, I mean, it, it. I mean, we we just we just blew up a th like it was a lot of heat in yeah, this area yeah. very recently. <laughs> mm -hmm. That probably helped dry some things out. Uh, all right, <laughs> so yeah, you're starting to fire at the door. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, you can probably get a fire going that'll last for quite a while. You can like pour alcohol all over the door so it like at least burns more. The burning of the alcohol will burn off, singeing large portions of the door, but it won't seemingly catch the door on fire, and eventually it would just be the fire burning next to it. And burning, it does seem to be charring the door, but it is a very slow process. Um, and it's keeping us warm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you can camp for a period of time as the wall, b door burns down, I mean. <laughs> I, I guess we could take a short rest while it burns. <laughs> you probably are short? taking longer than a short rest, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, we can it take will, a long rest. Eventually, though, it will burn a nice hole through the door. Um, Woo! Like, you, yeah, <laughs> it's like it, it's like hours later. <laughs> like well, how big of a hole? Like fire sized. You had a pretty good bonfire, I'm guessing. So I mean, like someone could <laughs> like, claw through there. Fire is not a metric. You can't use <laughs> fire, fire size. Fire size. <laughs> Campfire <laughs> size. Are you happy? Campfire sized. <laughs> That's so a medium creature can squeeze metric. through. <laughs> I'm gonna. You can. You can squeeze what? through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guys. I mean, I'll take my hand axe out and I'll 
you know, make make it smooth and whatever. Yeah, yeah. So we don't uh -huh. like. Do you want me to, to go? Like, if we have to like rush out of there, we, we can <laughs> get going. All right. Do you want me to go in? Well, first? that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's <laughs> You've, just so been, you've been sitting there, like, just seething for hours in this place. This is it's a stupid door. <laughs> of course, the door is the hardest enemy that we've ever faced. <laughs> it really is. Not the vampire spawn. That could easily kill us. No, no the door. Oh, oh god. Uh. Alright, let me go first. Are you sure? I'll... Yes, because if something's in there, let me take the first hits, and then you guys could okay. make your way through. Um, Ooh, I got streets. my shot back. <laughs> oh, you should have your spells back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't get rage back. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'll crawl through. I'll be the first to the door. I'm not going, like, far. I'm just going to go in the door and step to the side so that they can come through. I'll go second. Okay. Um... Entering in through the uh, doorway, you come into what can best be described as maybe a large entrance hall of this location. It's in ruins. There's rubble and damage to the walls in the inside here, sc uh, scraps of furniture all along the place, uh, layers of dust and dirt. In comparison to the outside, which seems more immaculate, this inside is definitely damaged. And you can tell that whatever damage the walls exist here is not enough to actually, like, damage the outer walls, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. there's some, like, scrapes and uh, destruction here just a little bit. Um, there are these, like, torch sconches, except at the top of each torch is, like, this strange glowing crystal that fills the room with light. At the back of the room, across from where you enter, there are two doors <laughs> and a staircase that leads up. <laughs> Can I open the doors from the inside? That's all I want to ask. I mean, like you can, like when you turn around, you can push open. You push, you push on the doors. They just open. So there was some kind of magical lock or something on it. It had to have been. There's, there's hey, no Max! mechanism. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, you you like you squeeze through, just push the door open without any trouble. It just opens up. Yes. And. Yeah, you kind of assume that there was some kind of magic to stop you from entering, <laughs> and instead you just burned it down. Well, I mean, we don't really have that. I really like. We don't have that kind of magic user. So, I mean, <laughs> again, like he was super important. I I was expecting brute force because that was the answer. Because you didn't have that type of magic user, I wasn't expecting bonfire. <laughs> Well, I mean, we needed a fire-sized hole, and how do you get a fire-sized hole? <laughs> you could have just had Zach get really angry at the door and hit it a lot of times, and it would have eventually broke. No, fire solves everything. <laughs> at right. least this way, they got their, like, abilities back? So. Sure. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, not my alcohol. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Zach's gonna look kind of sheepish. I have two more bottles. He'll look, he'll look at Sydney and go, I don't mind. Um, maybe not mention that part to Percy. Thanks. Is um, he not with us? <laughs> Percy is probably... No, I made him, he's hiding nearby. I made him go hide. I made him oh, go okay. hide and told him not to move. And if we die, I gave him the map so he can get back. Oh, oh. um, you see me... Re I'm reaching in my bag, pulling about the captain's whiskey, and I'm taking a slug of it. Anyone else? After that... <laughs> Yes, sure. And I'll take a swig. Of <laughs> okay. I take two giant gulps and hand it back to you. Oh, that's a lady. <laughs> I, 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 I meant your your title. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Rufus would admire that. All right. Um. Great. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna pull my great sword out. It's. It, you said I can't see in here. No, you can't. Right? It's lit. Okay. Uh, there's these strange glowing crystals that look to be like... It looks like a torch sconch, except where the fire is. Are these crystals that almost look like they're shaped like fire. And it kind of glows with this kind of bluish light. How tall... How high off the ground are they? Towards the top of the room. So pretty high up. Not that you couldn't, like, okay. maybe crawl up there. It's about a 20-foot ceiling. 
Yeah, but I mean, I can't crawl on the walls. So, <laughs> I mean, what's up? All right, uh, I'm gonna head into the main to the entrance room that looks all ruined-ish. Mm -hmm. See if I can get a better vantage point. Uh, um, wait, before you move in, yo. I want to roll a survival. See if there's any. Thing that has disturbed the dust in here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's where our good rolls go. Um, I, but I, it's I a really yes. wish that was my strength roll. Uh, let me but put it this way. Yes. Uh, you see signs that this dust has been disturbed here quite recently. There's been people here or something. Does it look like people or humanoids. animals? Like a large there's number been, of humanoids moved okay. when it came in There's here. been a large number of people who have been in here recently. Are they goblin-sized? Mixture. Some of them might be goblin. But remember, Considering remember, what we saw of them ransacking the lizard people wouldn't be surprising. Yeah. And goblins weren't the only members. Here. It was all the goblinoids were in there. There was hobgoblins. It's the, dread, it's the remnants of the Dread Army. There's the mix. It's um, it's whatever crap you can... And you them. did hear that the Dread Lord came to the tower. Yeah. And then came back, and that's when the Dread Lord left. So we need to be after careful. coming back from here. There could be still people yeah. here. We need to be careful. Watch your six, Sydney. I don't know if... Uh, I know you've met a nice goblin. And he makes a really nasty face and does, like, over-the-top quotations. I roll my eyes. <laughs> and he goes, but they love to stab you in the back the minute you turn around, so be careful, okay? Hey, Zach. <clears throat> yeah. Give me a boost. I want to see if I can get one of these torches. We don't know if all the rooms are Not lit. Not that tall, dude. I mean, I, no. I can try. Give me a hand to step on and push up as I jump. All right, let's go for it. Let's try. I oh, will. God. So Roll can I try an athletic? Oh, I was going to ask about athletics. Um, I mean, it would be athletics on my part because it's like yeah. throw you. Yeah, I think for you, um, it's acrobatics more. <laughs> Do I get advantage at least? No, you get to actually try to reach it because you're. Okay. <laughs> well, but, let's uh, see how this goes. My athletics is fair. much better. <laughs> Okay, um, sure. You kind of leap up and you grab one of these sconces. Uh, you can now get a good view of it that you can realize that the entire thing is built into the wall and the torch is just, it looks like a torch. It isn't really a torch. It's just like the entire sconce with the crystal built into the wall. Even the crystal, like if you try to like pull on that, it seems very well attached in here. Oh, and he, okay. and he like, doesn't want us to have it. Like, you might be able to break it off, but you're at a really awful angle because you're kind of hanging off the sconce to get it. I, yeah. Do you want a rope? I could toss a rope up. I have rope. I could tie it around. If you want, I mean, we, we have the ever-burning candles. I don't know why we need that. Well, this probably produces a larger area of light. All right. Tie it up. I'll, we can work together and try to pull it down. I will tie a rope around it. Okay. And then go down the rope to get back down. Okay. Smart, because I wasn't going to catch you. All right. <laughs> um, I guess then, if you're going to try to pull it off the rope, someone give me a strength yeah. check with advantage from the other I'll hand. help you. Yeah. Does it, ah! Yay! God dear, <laughs> no! No! That is... No! No! Oh, double Jesus seven Christ. again! Double seven again! <laughs> Yes! Oh my god! Yeah, it's, it's, it won't budge. It won't budge. The two of you pull on it. It seems really well stuck in there. I'm really happy I wasted that crit. Oh so my just check. God! I'm oh real my happy. god! Four sevens! It's so wonderful. I don't know god. how this could happen. That is ridiculous. That is, so, it is really ridiculous because it's four or seven. You roll for a strike in a in row. In a row. In a row. In a row. Oh my uh, god. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but now I need to get yeah. my rope back. Is the problem? Uh, well, uh, it's just rope. I'll hand you the extra rope I found. Fine. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I had two hemp ropes for some because I found one in the with the rubies with the emeralds. Um, should, right. would, should we check Great. the doors? Great sword out. Let's check this room. Make sure this is a safe place for us. Activating my dagger, 
Okay. Uh, so and which of the, the two, which of the two doors are you checking? As I said, there are two doors on the staircase leading up to the next floor. So that's it. This isn't like a grand entrance room. Uh, well, it could have been a grand entrance room, but the entire place is just wrecked. So it's well, hard I meant to tell. Size wise, it's a oh big yeah, it's room a very large or... room. Yeah, no, it's just very empty except for wreckage and rubble. Well, I want to walk around and kick the wreckage and make oh, sure. Oh sure, give me perception waiting. then, just to check around. I yeah. wouldn't make too much noise. Fine. If there are, if there are creatures still here, uh, we don't want to alert I mean, you find some them. like pieces of some kind of wood that's kind of old and brittle, and some pieces of stone, and and like right. material like that. While he's looking around, I'm going to go check both doors and listen at them. Okay. Uh, you don't hear anything from either of the rooms. They just seem quiet. <laughs> um, right, do well, they I don't have, see anything. Do they have locks <laughs> on the doors? Nope. I don't hear anything down here in either of these rooms. All right. Let's go right. I'm going to open the right door. Okay. All right. Um... Let's Baron, see. Zachariah, you can see Zachariah. there is a like place for in here for uh, spears to hang from the walls. There are. There's a bunch of spears hanging from the one wall. There's two cots, uh, a table, and a number of chairs. Uh, the room is in decent shape, uh, much more than the room that you just were in. Um, mm -hmm. That's about it. Uh, you can also see that there does seem to be a uh, chess set that's kind of on the table. It does. It, hey. Yeah, except you're notice you, dragon chess. Uh, probably not. No, it's probably just normal chess. <laughs> and it's missing. What a couple are the pieces, of pieces made out of? Oh. Uh, rock. Uh, maybe like. What kind of dick takes pieces of a tabletop game? Don't do that. <laughs> you ruin the game. Like if you if you okay? take a look around, you can find some of the missing pieces, but there still seems to be five missing. That's a oddly specific. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I made note of that, just in case people did want to look for the pieces of the chess set. I know, but now I'm thinking Resident Evil chess pieces <laughs> are gonna matter. <laughs> God. Yeah, but no, there's some, uh, there's some spears. So there's still weapons on the walls here? Yeah, like, it, it spears. Looks, yeah some spears. Um, like, it's like a, like a weapon rack that's next to the door. So someone probably... Any weapons on the weapon rack or just the spears? The spears are the only ones there. It's, the weapon rack in particular seems to be made for these spears. They're all in decent right, shape. Grab, I mean, I'll grab a look. I, I just do a quick look, and mm -hmm. if I see a decent one, like in pretty good shape that I could use, I'm just gonna grab. I it. mean, they all seem in fine shape. Uh, they've just been kind of here in the room, uh, so they haven't experienced a lot of terrible weathering. Um, you know, so I'll strap one to my backpack. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a free. Never know. If, yeah. <laughs> never know. If, <laughs> never know if it'll be useful. Exactly. Hey, I might have to throw something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Not the dwarf. Can I take the chest set? Uh, sure. It, nice. It's missing five pieces. We could and craft I'll keep pieces. a lookout for them. And you could always make pieces of stone. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's like a wooden board and like granite pieces. So it's a pretty nice. <laughs> it's a pretty decent chest set. Um, simple. In I have an design. oddly specific tool preference. <laughs> Dragon chess set. <laughs> so, that better exist in this world. <laughs> I could carve you some wooden replacements. But if it's I can't new. find them, I might take you up on that. But it wouldn't match the set. Don't. <sighs> it's more about the game than the look. <laughs> but but the games are to represent the game. You know, like you want it to be the best presentation. You want it. To manipulate your flow. I want to play with my brother. That's about it. I'll challenge you as well. See? We just want to have a nice game. It doesn't have to look good. Sure. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna Go walk to the next across. left door. I'm gonna walk over to that door. I'm going to stealthily open that one. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Right. Yeah. <laughs> it Christ. certainly is quiet. Uh, no one hears the like the door make any kind of squeaking. It just opens quietly as if as if we're standing right next to the door. We're just like, oh, why is it not open? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the room beyond the door looks like a barrack just by one glance. Uh, there's a large number of bunk beds. Each of the beds has a has two foot lockers and a small chest of drawers next to it. It seems like a foot locker for each of the two beds and a chest of drawer that has like four drawers to it. Uh, there are a number of bookshelves okay. in here that are empty. Uh, the beds are deteriorated. Uh, le- all the uh, mattresses and pillows Penny. are gone. They're just the frames at this point in time. And the foot lockers are seemingly all em- open, and you don't see anything inside them, but it's by a quick glances. Um, are they, like, the kind of beds that, like, a cot or, like, a bed bed? Like These are bed beds. House? Okay. So unlike the other room that had, like, a couple of cots, this one has actual beds, even though, again, it's now just I mean, frames. A chest might be useful for us. Um, but we have a bag that, that holds lots of things. Yes, but the chest might be used to put things in it, and then we could give it as a gift, as, like, a dowry to the nomads. Um, but it's fine. It's, we great. could always yeah. grab it on the way out if you really want. I'm just trying to think of the best presentation if we're going to try to make an alliance. Um, but they look like crap anyways. Probably just like the chess set. No, I walk out the room, man. <laughs> Stupid door. Zach's having a bad day. <laughs> let, me, let me take point on the stairs. Fine. Follow want the a little... Aid. If... Keep it, do it for yourselves. I'm going to try to go ahead a little bit. Just in case if there is danger, I can sneak up on it. Go for it. Oh, wait. We're going to sit down here for a long rest while he just walks up. <laughs> you just took a long rest. I want another one. Mm-hmm. I'm pissed. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey. <laughs> Wait, was that outside the fire a long rest? Or no, it was just a couple yeah, hours. It was just a couple and hours. A, a critical stealth. Okay, um, yeah, you quietly make your way up the stairs. Uh, upstairs seems to be a. It leads into a singular room. Uh, you estimate this room uh, because you kind of have an idea of the floor size of the tower below you. That this room does take up maybe a quarter of this floor. Um, this room is a very unusual one. There is a door leading out of it, but the glowing crystals that were in the sconces have been replaced by crystals built into the walls that look like eyes. Glowing eyes that are staring at you. I don't like that. (laughs) There are strange, like, arcane markings written across the floors, and there are nearly a dozen, dozen statues in here, all of creatures that are incredibly strange and also made of strange crystals and rocks. And when I say strange creatures are strange, that the first one looks weird, the next one looks weirder, and it goes on and on. That it seems like as you're like looking around the room, things get stranger and weirder, these abomination creatures. Uh, you can't recognize any of them. Uh, some of them are quite small, uh, maybe something the size of a uh, house cat. Others are quite large, with two of them being of things the size of horses. Um, I'm going to look around to make sure there's no traps on the floor around here. Sure. Before I set, tell everyone to come up. Mm-hmm. You don't find anything? Okay, you I'll have, go you to... Take a look around the floor and you just see a lot of these weird arcane runes that are just drawing all around. But, like, even, like, as you're looking at them, you you don't even recognize them as... Like, because you did, like, your Arcana check a little bit ago. You yeah. can't recognize any of them as actually having magic. You, you I'm know, still going to try to avoid stepping on any if possible. <clears throat> they are, like, all over the place. It's, like, almost like the floor's been decorated with them. Um, I'll get to the top of the stairs. I'm going to wave you up. All right. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh God, nice. Well, yeah. Once you're, well, I'm gonna stop you before you go in the room. 
I didn't detect any traps, but I don't. I can't speak for magic. That is not my forte. And there's mean? weird crystal eyes everywhere that are glowing, and weird statues of creatures, but nothing you both, moving. You both do realize I've never actually had a formal education in magic. Yes, um, you're the best we got. You can do it. I can't. So that makes <laughs> you better than me at it. I wouldn't ask you to do a pull up. <laughs> you please don't. <laughs> also, don't ask me about anything like magic related. I guess. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. I, I wish to crit on <laughs> stealth. You roll very uh, well on stealth. <laughs> yes, yeah, like stupidly well. Uh -huh. uh, looking at these creatures, I don't magically. I don't know anything about magic, uh -huh. but maybe history. Maybe history. Maybe I've heard of these things uh, in stories. Uh, sure. Roll me a history check. Um, no. 13. Yeah, you can't no, recall any just... stories that actually, like, mention anything like this at all. Okay. Alright. The eyes are really eerie. Um. I kind of want to break one and see what would happen. What do you guys I think? wouldn't do it. We don't know if there's a tra some kind of trap or something. Okay. I'll take your word of a... I'll take your counsel. There is a door back here, though. <laughs> These statues. Hmm. There's something odd. Like, why would you have statues of these creatures? People have weird hobbies. <laughs> maybe it's... Maybe it's a collection of things that they've encountered. Yeah. Are they facing in any particular direction? They're on display. So they're, like, facing, like, into the room. They're kind of spread out around the entire wall. The only wall that they don't seem to be on uh, is the wall with the door. So, like, the back wall, which is behind you where you came up the stairs, has some of them there. In fact, it's, like, the back two corners behind you are where the two large ones are. And then they kind of flank you on either side as you come up. Keep an eye I on mean, like, these. The small ones are, like, up on pedestals and stuff, while the big ones, and like, even the medium-sized ones are on the floor. I wonder. <clears throat> I'm gonna just put like, can I go to an eye and just cover it? Sure. Like, can I? Am I able to actually cover, it, or does the light still shine like through? I mean, like, like it that bright? It, it's not so bright that you couldn't cover some of the light, but it's like it's like putting your hand over a flashlight, except it's like eye shaped, so it's not like very easy to completely cover it. But if you like try to, you could cover it and have all the light drowned out. Hmm. It's just as like. A couple dozen of them in the walls. That makes this room even brighter than the one downstairs. But, like... Because, like, the one downstairs, they have, like, torches towards the top. And, like, kind of more in the corners. Not uh, not very many in the middle of the room. So, like, even, like... It, they did do a good job of lighting the large room. It's just... It wasn't... It felt like maybe when you're in the center of the room, it's a little dark. You know, it, overall. Yeah. The light diffuses. <laughs> this room is quite well lit. Are there are are there the same amount of eyeballs that there are animals? No. There's a lot more eyeballs. I time. would say probably the eyeballs aren't really paired up. Also, they're singular eyeballs. I'd say there's probably about like we'll say like twenty three of them, not quite two dozen. But like some of these statues are creatures that look like they would have more than two eyes anyway. And the size of the eyeballs, do they vary? Or are they all the same size? All the ones in here, like the glowing ones, are the same size. This is creepy. Let's go. Because the eyeballs are also like fist size. I don't know. You know I'm they're gonna, not like small eyes. I'm going to perceive at the door. Okay. Everything's going to be fine at the door? <laughs> you take same a kind of thing. Just a flesh golem on the other side. <laughs> same kind of thing, not locked. Nope. I will quietly <laughs> open the door. Okay. Let's see how quietly. As I hold my great sword, stand ready. Pretty me. quietly. Um, <laughs> so inside the room, uh, you can see some wreckage and rubble piled up kind of to the one corner. In the center of the room is a table surrounded by a number of chairs. Uh, there's another door out of this room. It seems as though like 
Um, it almost circles around, like you kind of like you circle around the outside of a ta of like a tower. This these rooms seem to circle around. So now you enter this side. You got a room to your um, God directions for a second there, right? So as if you're kind of circling through the tower, and this is another like quarter of the tower in size. Um, you do see something quite discernible amongst the wreckage, kind of lying kind of almost piled on top of it is the wrecked remains of some kind of humanoid creature of large size made of stone. Is I it moving Sydney at all? Sydney would recognize something like that. Uh... Yeah, did it almost kill us once? Uh, no, you didn't fight this one. You ran oh, away. we didn't fight that one because no. it was too hard. No, yeah, it's a dead stone golem. Yeah, gross. Mm -hmm. You can, you can guess are that the other sure remains that are like this it's broken apart into pieces. Okay. Um, it, it, you can tell like the majority of its pieces are intact, but it is broken, and you can tell about it looks like the other rubble and wreckage. You can discern that maybe some pieces of worse other kinds of constructs. Now that you kind of like take a look at it. What is this thing? As I walk towards the stone golems remains. Uh, that's a stone golem. And it looks like there are more constructs in there. Not a good thing. Well, they're dead. Wait, I think I heard a report. Um, there were constructs underneath the church, weren't there? Yeah. We decided not to, uh, mess with that one. Let's say. Are they that fierce? Y yeah. Alright. It's good to know. I'm glad we had a larger pieces. party then, and mm -hmm. we still didn't think we could take it on. I mean, emotionalist um, uh, uh, mechanical soldiers that uh, never get tired and will pursue and kill you until they're done, that doesn't sound like something that's difficult to See, fight. I was expecting Sydney to take the time to go, oh, this was the thing that uh, Clicky, like, critted his information on, and he, like, knew everything about golems. But... Listen, <laughs> I don't he remember that, himself and but... ran away. <laughs> yeah, because I knew what they were. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, do they all look broken, all the other different constructs? Only the stone golem seems actually, like, mostly intact. All the rest just seem in, like, a huge pile of rubble. Okay. You can guess that maybe... Maybe there's, like, three or four worth in that pile, uh, including the stone golem. Is there anything of value in stone golems? I'm assuming they're magical in nature, so do you know if they have carry any essence or something in it that might... Uh, the wizards back at the castle might would, would like? Mads has no idea what Sig you know. <laughs> Roll Arcana. Alright. While well, they're checking that out, I'm perceiving the other door. Okay. Ooh, she got something on Arcana by me. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> so, Signy, yeah, um, you, you, like, you know that most of the time when a construct is destroyed, it's magic leaves it. It's like breaking a magic weapon or, or a yeah. magic item. The magic will leave it if it's completely destroyed. She can relay that information to you. Yeah, I relay that information yes, to you. It's, it's yet again mm -hmm. another fine looking door. I'll stealthfully open it. Okay. Let's see how well I roll this one. Hmm. All right. Let me a second here. <laughs> Take 12 damage. Oh, crap. Uh, as you put your hand on the handle, a spike goes out through your hand and then goes back into the door. That hurt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Found the trap. Yeah, it seems like you did. Are you saying something unfunny because you're muted?
Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to okay. take my sword now, mm -hmm. push down the handle. Mm -hmm. Shink, shink. <laughs> Does the handle at least open or just? I mean, makes the trap go off. It just makes it go off. You'd have to kind of pull on the door. You kind of have to like push on the handle and pull on the door, kind of thing. Okay, so... I will try to do that. <laughs> you... Actually, no, wait. I could. Can... I like the idea of you just trying to like <laughs> use two different <laughs> tools, like one to hold it down and the other to pull the door open. Oh. It looks so silly, but I like the idea of you. Can doing. I disable the trap? Sure, go ahead. Try. What is it? What is it? Thieves tools? Thieves or... tools. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> um. Let me just. Uh, I hope I didn't break a tool. No. It stabs you again while you're trying to work on it for another 12. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay, is this thing only attack, like activating when you turn the knob? Uh, pretty much when you like push on the, pl press on the handle to open the door, it activates. So, can we just tie a rope around it? You can do the little sword thing and I'll pull the rope? Mm hmm Yes. Yes, you could. Chance you heal for 14. Thank you. He's got like a severe hand trauma and you're like healing it. <laughs> That's not like you <laughs> The second time he's like trying to work with the tools and he like sets it off and it like No, we're only down again. 10. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll tie a rope around the doorknob and I'll say, Chance, I'll pull. You push the lever down yep. with the sword. It stabs okay. out. You pull the door open. It opens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe next time you don't stick your hand back in the mechanism. <laughs> I was trying to disable. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't really look like that, but okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to put my sword like through the doorway and just go up and down. And does it go off again? No. <laughs> It seems as like whenever someone pressed like because it's like a it was like a handle with like a little lever you know kind of a latch so it's whenever you press down the latch to open the door your hand got stabbed. All right, so I'll step through. Okay, uh, um, this room is filled with tables, chairs, and a large number of seats that seem to be kind of circling around the center of the room. It's once again about a quarter of the tower size. Um, on the one wall. Something that you, it looks like it was very hard to probably notice from down below is there's a, strangely enough, there's a man-sized hole in the one wall. Like an actual hole in the size of this. Uh, pretty decently sized, but like definitely positioned in such a way that it wasn't on your side of the wall when you came in, and you weren't necessarily looking around for it uh, on the other walls looking up. As much. Could that stone golem thing have come out of the wall? Uh, it is much smaller than it. Oh. Um, weather does definitely seem to have come into this room, though, as the furniture is quite deteriorated. Uh, there were some decorations in here. There was some various paintings uh, that are all faded and kind of ruined. Um, it's really hard to tell the details about them. Some of them seem like maybe individuals. Others seem like landscapes. Uh, the wall, kind of opposite of when you enter, uh, as the hole is to your uh, left, has nine banners, each with a symbol on them. Uh, I'm going to look out the hole. You can see the outside world. How high up are we? Uh, you're on the second floor, so you're about 20 feet up off the ground at this point in time. Okay. So it's normal... Yeah, there's, like the ceilings here are about 20, so you're a little more than 20 feet up. Okay, I just wanted to. I'm, I was. I wanted to see like gauging how. Yeah. You know. Oh, well, if we need to get out in a hurry. What the window? That's a, not a window. The hole, the porthole. 
Yeah, the, the it's hole damage. which... It's damaged. Yeah. Something, something damaged the wall here. Wait a minute, we didn't see that from the outside. It's... N you were really looking up the wall of the tower on the on the south side, and this is not on the south side. Okay. I mean, we yeah. walked around it, but... Okay. Yeah, you, were, uh, you, you mentioned you were, like, looking... We were also door. close when we walked around it. It would probably be a hard angle. Yeah. Like, if you had been farther off, you were kind of, like, looking around the outside of the wall. You weren't really, like, looking for windows at that point in time because you kind of assumed that it was the same as the wall you saw. There's a damage to it. I mean, you could have skipped the door, technically, I guess. But uh, it was much funnier that you burned it down. <laughs> hey, I've defeated two doors, and one door's defeated me. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> one door did defeat you. <laughs> so I am still up one door, though. Uh, your door record. <laughs> two, two, is there any way, one. is there any, any place to anchor a rope? Um, I have pittance. You, you could probably try to like. Good luck using them. In this yeah. campaign. I had them yeah. last time. <laughs> Tantus does not let you use that. <laughs> them. I mean, you could try to nail, hammer it into something. If you had a grappling hook, you could probably hook it to the wall very easily at that spot. You know, in the corner. I have a grappling hook. There you go. You could easily put a rope out there if you want. All right. So we should set up an egress point in case we need so. to. Yeah. In okay. case we need to leave. So if we don't like, use it, we can just come back and grab it. Like, she so kind of throw the loose. rope out the uh, at the hole and kind of like jam the grappling hook in the corner there. Well, yes. do the grappling hook first before we throw the rope out. Yes. But, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whee! Oh, God. Yes. That reminds me of a previous campaign. Oh, God, yeah. Throw me some rope. Here you go. It's just We're throwing... supposed to tie it off first. It's just throwing it down in the hole. It's like, throw us a rope to help us out. No. Woof. <laughs> Quite literal, throw you a rope. It was wonderful. Yeah. And there's nothing else of, like that looks of any. I mean, the only things that them. have not been damaged by the weather are the banners. I'm gonna say those still seem in decent condition. Each of them is like uh, a different color, uh, not like rainbowed, but definitely a different like. Sh like there's some shades of blue, shades of green, and stuff. So like it, it looks like they're faded, but they have some bright colors to them, and then they have those symbols on. I mean, the symbols might tell Tim and the other We guy. could take them. Yeah. I'll put them in the bag of holding. I mean, I don't think we should be kind with them. We'll just cut them down. Like, we're not trying to preserve them. We're just trying to get the symbols back to, to the castle. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh... Well, you know what? Sydney! Please me? roll me an intelligence check, just quickly and efficiently. Uh, well, I can try. Oh, why efficiently? Uh, Listen, I'm not efficient in anything. All right. I'm also dumb. so Signy, you do recognize something as you're like looking at the symbols. One that's very obvious. The not the one of the banners has a symbol on it that you recognize as representing divine magic. Like divine magic as a whole, like the study these, of it. It's, yeah. it's, it's a symbol that's very. Schools. Roll me an arcana I mean, check. I mean, I'm not proficient in arcana. I wouldn't know anything about magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your chance is like I don't know anything about it at all. <laughs> yes, Sigmi <laughs> takes some time and identifies the other banners are the other are the eight schools of magic. I helped someone. So it seems to be the eight arcane school. It seems to be the eight arcane schools of magic, all separated out by banners, and then a ninth banner that represents divine magic. So this is a wizard's tower, or a school, or some sort of stupid magic facility. Oh God, we found Great. Hogwarts. <laughs> it's a really weird Hogwarts. <laughs> it's got door stabby uh, Hogwarts. <laughs> it's just Hogwarts. Hogwarts. It's just Hogwarts. It's just one. No, no, no. It's my, actually. I swear to see oh someone like, go up to like, the door handle and be like, Oh, my magic casting hand! Listen, they had a three headed dog guarding something at one point. They had a chamber of secrets. Um, Hogwarts was dangerous. No, it's actually um, Hoggle. <laughs> Hogglewarts. It's it's the American school. It's Liverpool. Oh God, that's no. 
Okay. Well, we've at least got that identified. For what? So what else is in this room? Banners now. I'm pretty sure they know what the school of magic. <laughs> yes. Symbols. What else is in this room? Um, again, the door to your right. As it's been kind of I'm going to approach the door mm -hmm. and use my sword on the handle to push it down this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now it explodes. <laughs> Nothing happens. You push down the door handle. Okay. Then I'm going to quietly open the door. It is locked. <laughs> I will still. <laughs> I will then lock pick it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one does seem to have like a place for a key on it. So you can try to lockpick it. Please see tools. All right, you play around with the lock, and it doesn't open. We want to look around for a key somewhere. <sighs> it's probably magically locked, like the last one, like the front. Hence, door. if we have the key, it would probably unlock it then. Sure. I uh, just point to the rubble. Let's find a key. It's like a needle in a haystack or a key in a junk pile. I mean, we could just set fire to it again. I don't want to wait three hours again. <laughs> I could um, attempt to pick it again. Uh, you can try if you'd like. Uh, let's just look for the key. I'm going to start picking shit around. I'm going to start, actually, I'm going to start picking up, like, stuff. Mm -hmm. And if there's no key in it, toss it out the hole. <laughs> no key in it, toss it out the hole. <laughs> Get it? So I don't end up with like another power, like maybe I missed it. <laughs> no. Okay. I guess, okay. No, it's still, it's still locked. How long are you taking Whoa. to look for the key? However long it takes, man. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna continue I, trying to pick this damn thing. I can't go forward. Thing. I can't go forward until I get the key. So I'm just. All right. I'm just gonna give it. Chance will eventually break the lock, and you'll spend like uh, like maybe like an hour like looking around for this key. And Chance is just working on the door. It's like taking forever. But he mentioned the junk is getting thrown further and further out the <laughs> hole. <whole, laughs> but eventually he will pick schools. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I magic think we're tied stuff. on doors now. <laughs> God, magic places. They always have to have tricks. Just fight you they're like for, a man. They're for kids. Uh, or a woman. Sorry, Sydney. All right. <laughs> so opening the door, uh, the room beyond is best described as being filled with strange plants made entirely of crystal that seem to be decorating the walls and ceiling of this place. Each glow with a pale red light. Uh, there are bookshelves that cover the rest of the walls, but they seem mostly empty with the remains of dust and decay. Uh, you can see that there's a crack in one of the walls that has led in the outside world hastening this decay. There is a staircase leading up to the third floor from here. I'm gonna look All at right. the plants. So for future reference, Chance and Sydney, when we come to a tower, Let's look up. Um, <laughs> Around all the walls, just not one. This is this is this is tiresome. I keep finding holes. <laughs> no, this is like a crack at the wall. It's not like a huge hole on this side. <sighs> but the uh, walls are smooth though too, so it would have been hard, hard to climb. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it seems like these plants are recreations of various flowers and um, other plants that you maybe identify in a, um, like a tropical setting. Something that you uh, maybe just heard tales of from uh, another wilderness person at one point in time. Like another ranger or druid that you encountered at one point and ha like spent some time with a conversation with and uh, learned a few things. Maybe this tower once resided in a tropical land. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they're just studying these plants. I mean, they had, Sydney said it was divine magic in one of the banners. Maybe they had, like, juetic stuff, and this is just one of the classes for that. It, True. It's guesswork. It's magic. <coughs> Disappear. And maybe... There and, Yes, that would explain also the room with all the statues. Maybe that was a class on different creatures. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a school of magic that changes bodies, right? 
that, that can change one thing to another. I don't, I don't know how magic works. This is up the stairs. Sure. Uh, should we check the bookcase? Maybe they have hidden keys because you know magic users love I'll to hide things. You. Okay. I'm assuming the goblins didn't make it this far, though. You don't they, find anything. They don't... Waste of a good roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found a waste of a good roll. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what if we need another key three rooms down? This is, this is Legend of Zelda 1. Where you're like, you can't go on in the dungeon <laughs> and find the key. I'm stealthing up the stairs now. Okay. Zach is very uncomfortable in this magic mm -hmm. place. All right. Um, <laughs> this is a very large room. Uh, make, taking up the majority of this floor of the tower. Uh, there are a, two rows of long tables made of stone, uh, with stone chairs uh, aligning either side of them. All of this stuff seems to be attached to the floor. In the far end of the room from where you are, are kind of on a raised dais, are ten chairs, uh, with a larger one in the center. Uh, you can recognize that on the nine of the chairs are the symbols you saw on the banners down below. Uh, two of the chairs still have skeletal occupants. Uh, you can see that one of them... Uh, well, you don't know the symbols. Like, Signy would easily be able to identify them, which symbols are which, but uh, that you can't see. Uh, there are steel goblets scattered around the room. Many of them are on the tables that have been knocked over. There's a bunch on the floor. Uh, to the one side of the room, there are three doors, and there is also a um, staircase uh, back near where the... Uh, dais with the ra with the chairs are leading upstairs. The big center chair has a symbol you have not seen before on the back of it. And it does seem to be in the center of the room. I'm going to pull out some paper mm -hmm. and I'm going to etch the symbol. Okay. And then I'm going to sit in the chair. So you're going to go over sit in the chair? Right. That's right. Well, I'm etching, I'm rubbing, I'm doing a rubbing of the symbol, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to sit in the chair. Okay. I'm tired. I'm, I, I'm just. Okay. <laughs> Screw Chance it. doesn't come back. Yeah. We're saying well, no. Oh, I'm, I'm going to say, dead. come on in, and okay. then sit down. Oh, yeah. You can say, come on in, and go, then walk across the uh, room and sit I'm down. I'm going to walk yeah. over to the skeletons. Okay. They, they, they like bleached bone skeletons. They are skeletons. Um, they do have like remains of like robes on them. No equipment. Can I just remain. take their skulls off? Sure. Just to make sure. Uh, Are Signe, you going to throw them out of a hole? Signy, you can identify the symbols on each of the chairs as you roll down below. Uh, one of the skeletons is a, a chair that represents divination, and the other is an abjuration. What's this? It has a name on it. Snape. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, anything on this symbol? I'll hold up the etching. I'm still sitting in the chair. Sydney. Sydney. Wait, what? I'm holding up the etching I took. I'm still sitting in the yeah, chair. Like, sitting, sitting in like the center chair and holding up a symbol that like Isn't is it above. Am I on probably? the dais? No, it's not the divine magic one because there is really? a different. There's a separate chair for that. There is like a tenth chair. Oh. So Arcana. Sure. I have my feet up on the dais. No. Well, the dais. The chairs are on the dais, so of course you have your feet up. Or on them. no, I mean. Is, didn't you say there was a uh, something up there too? Yeah, the raised like, chair. There's chairs. Raised, yeah, oh, yeah. There's so, it's like, so it's a raised area in like the back okay. of the room with chairs on it, with like yeah, four so chairs. Yeah, like a king would sit in. Yeah, so it's like with four. Oh, okay. I four thought there was. I thought side, there was like a podium or something. Other. Yeah, uh, the four so, chairs on the side with the staircase because the staircase. Okay, is kind of I thought there was a podium. Sorry. No. This is clearly some kind of council room. Teachers lounge. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I look. I look at the chairs with a that that obviously are in a position of authority, mm -hmm. and then look at the other chairs that aren't, and go. These were obviously council members that were counseling whoever would sat, sit in that chair. This is where they put the hat on for his sorting. <laughs> I would say actually, if you the, the kind of table setup of that is an actually good way to describe the two sets of tables here, that they're like long tables <laughs> that fill the room, but it's like all made of stone, and. Iron goblets. Now you said they're attached to the floor. Are they attached or just like they are like attached aren't... to the floor, like built out of the floor? It looks like they've been like attached to the floor, okay. so that you you just sit down and you kind of like slide yourself into the chair rather than slide the chair out. 
Why would you attach a chair to a floor? Do you know how many ways magic can go wrong and can rock an entire foundation? No. This is also <laughs> There's a lot. Layout. Trust me. Now, I will note... This is note also a very beautiful layout. <clears throat> ...that you can kind of note that the each of the three doors in here has two of the symbols uh, of magic schools on them. Uh, the one closest to where you came up, Signy can identify, has divination and necromancy. Uh, the second one has... Um, sorry, here. Uh, well, we know where Ulfgar is going. Yes. The second one has <laughs> abjuration and evocation. And the third one has transmutation and conjuration. Do they have handles? Yes. Do they have locks? No. Do we want to try a door? Um, no, let's wait first. I'm gonna head over. I'm I'm still by the bodies. Uh, can we search them? Uh, sure. But you said they have robes on. Yeah. Ah, they have robes. Any investigation or anything? Uh, sure. Roll me an investigation. That sounds fine. You know, when you say it like that, it makes me feel like I just gypped myself out of getting something for free. <laughs> Fifteen. I can check the other body if you want. If you want to go ahead and roll two. I'll perceive, because I don't have investigation. That's not fine. Um, you can definitely take a look at the body, and both of you will kind of take a look over it. it you don't see actually any obvious signs of how these people died. Uh, both of them look like they just were kind of died and left in these chairs. Um, one of them definitely looks like, uh, just from the positioning of the body, it must have met some kind of violent end. Like, the, the arms are almost kind of strewn back in a way that maybe something hit it. You don't see any, like, obvious damage uh, to the bones and stuff, though, too. So it could have been magic or some kind of trauma... Uh, maybe even poison that if someone was like, like ah, you know, back from. Finished. And there's no meat left on the skeletons, right? Yeah, no meat left on the skeletons. These are long since skeletal. Um, the other one does seem more like it just slumped over. I'm going to take the robe and just try to tear it a little bit. Sure. Does it tear? Yeah. I'm searching the robes. <laughs> Yeah, you don't find anything left over. It, 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 you do, actually, both of you will find evidence that someone must have gone through the <laughs> pockets previously. So it looks like if these people had something, who at, when they died, they stuff was taken from them. Sydney, which one is this? The one I'm standing in front of. I, I don't know which one I'm standing. In front um, of. the divination one seems to have died in the much more like exaggerated death. The abjuration okay. one just seems more slumped. What's the what's this kind of magic? A divination. It's um, premonitions. In a way, in a way, uh, farsight, being able to scry, things like that. Okay, so a person that could see the future didn't know they were dying. Okay. Well, this person obviously seems to have died more violently. My best guess is poison, and it saw it coming too late. Yeah. Which means maybe... I'm gonna look around the room. Undead? There seems to be a lot of empty chairs. And these are powerful magic users, obviously. Well, given that the necromantic chair is empty, I wouldn't put it past them. Okay, if that's what you think. You're the expert. Um, the closest to what you've got. God help us all. You have, you have <laughs> way more than what I got, sister. Um, I know. Which isn't saying a lot. <laughs> I'm going to walk to the nearest door, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to see if I can open it. Sure. The nearest one would be the farthest from where you entered because you're over by the bodies. All right. Mm -hmm. This room seems almost divided in half. Um, there seems to be, like, uh, areas of study with a single bed, uh, and then bunk beds kind of in the back of the room on each side. 
Each of the individual, like, bunk beds has foot lockers next to the sides. Um, there are bookshelves on either side of the room, both completely empty. Um, they're deteriorated, like, the, like, equipment here. Uh, one side of the room has an alchemical lab of some kind with a strange collection of, like, chemicals. Uh, all kind of lined up along one of the wall. And strange devices that seem to be for refining or maybe even collecting some of these from other materials. Uh, there's actually a small target range that seems to be between the two halves of this room. Um, that looks to be almost like something that could be set up. On the other side, there's also a alchemical lab that is less elaborate. Uh, there's also uh, large objects that seem to have like drag marks around them. That looks like almost maybe something was dragging or pushing them around. Uh, various different directions in an area. Um... There does seem to be an area in the back uh, corner of this room over near the uh, um, target range that seems to be kind of like another little bookshelf area with a couple of desks almost near it. So this looks like a training area? I mean, that's what I... I, like, I point at the range. Like, that's what that tells me. You could almost identify, know, like... Stuff. Uh, the areas that have the singular beds, they're like almost like little almost bedroom areas that are separated out by like the laboratory areas where a single individual would be at. Um, okay. Um, I, I don't know. I, you, I know you said you didn't have any formal training, Sydney, but I don't know what I'm looking at here. I mean, alchemy, I assume. Um, I, what's one of the magics that throw things? You throw fire. Maybe this does that. Um. Uh. Oh, what were the symbols on the door? Yeah, what what were the symbols on the door? Um. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Uh. I'm sorry. This one was the uh, abjuration and evocation. Okay, so target practice evocation is most often used for offensive spells like my fire. Uh, mm -hmm. Abjuration is more protection usually, but I mean, they be, you they, roll they pretty well. You could also know that uh, they sometimes practice various force effects too. So yeah, that might explain the large object that's been moved around. Right. Yeah. They also might have some spells that deal with force that aren't necessarily evocation that could do some damage too um, yeah uh, well with the alchemical stuff couldn't they make potions or something maybe it's not actually alchemical um uh, you, you taking a look at like the elements that that they have over there as someone that practices a level of evocation uh, and and again you rolled very well and kind of knowing some things about this um y you can kind of recognize that maybe some of these elements if combined with the right uh, spells and the right um, m basic materials that you would use to create those spells could even add some enhancements to them. Um, you unfortunately don't have the formal training to understand what a lot of these are, but it's like you take a look at them and like maybe they were trying to create refinements to create small enhancements to their evocation spells. It, it wouldn't have been anything like drastic but if there was some kind of like competition or battle between people that could use those type of spells it might be an edge is there anything that might be useful to you sydney here uh i doubt i could make use of it once again no formal training okay i understand uh Chance, you want to take a quick look around? I'm going to go check out the other door. Sure. There's three doors. Okay. I hate magic. He's going to say it as he yeah. walks out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean... The area in the back of this room does seem... Um, that's over near the target range does seem a little unusual. Uh, because it's sort of almost separated out. And it's, like, a place with, like, places to write. But you 
you're not like sure what it was used for. Hmm. Okay. I uh Zach, as you head to the next room, let's take our second break before we do that though, actually. Because it is time for that. Uh, so we'll be back with the last bit here as they continue to explore the tower and check out the other magic rooms. Ooh, magic! <laughs> that was stupid. Anyway, uh, if you need Yay, some snack, magic. snack, drink, bathroom, anything like that, if you need to take care of it, go ahead and take care of it, and we'll be back in a few minutes, so see you in a second. Let's all go to the lab.